today's YouTube video, I am going to share with you how to achieve this clean girl makeup look. As we all know, the clean girl makeup look has gone viral on TikTok, and it's something that us girls absolutely love because we all love that summer, shiny, dewy look. And it's also super simple makeup. I absolutely love creating this look for you guys. So if you want to learn how to achieve this look, please keep watching. So we all know how viral the clean girl aesthetic has been on TikTok, and we all love that glowy, dewy look. Prepping the skin is such an essential step when it comes to your makeup because that's going to dictate if your skin is looking glowy and if it lasts all day. So I already prepped my skin and the products that I use are Biosun Squalane Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. I love this brand because this is a gel moisturizer and it's very lightweight. It's not greasy at all. It absorbs super quickly into the skin. So I already use that product and my skin is feeling so much better. And then afterwards, I'm gonna be using the Cora Organics. This is the Noni Face Glow Oil. This is one of my favorite face oils. This smells so luxurious and it also has a lot of beautiful essential oils. It has vitamin A, it has vitamin E, and it absorbs super quickly into the skin. This oil is also going to help us achieve that glowy, dewy look. It just gives you that subtle glow without it being too greasy or oily. So what I love to do is that after applying my moisturizer, I apply just a few drops of the Nani Face Glow Oil and I just pat it into my skin. Oh my gosh, I wish that you could smell this. This smells so good and it's so nourishing to your skin. Don't forget to also apply all of the products onto your neck and also onto your chest. You don't wanna waste any product. And all the remaining product, also put it on top of your hands. Another key step when it comes to your skincare routine before your makeup is layering it with an SPF. So I love using the Elta MD. This is the SPF 46 and this has niacinamide. I love niacinamide. It's just one of my favorite ingredients. I really love this SPF. It just feels so like dewy and lightweight. This is also gonna give your skin that really glowy look. And then for my eyes, I'm just gonna prime them with the Biosun Squalane Marine Algae Eye Cream. This is going to make your eye makeup look so much better. It's going to make it last longer. So make sure that when you are applying makeup in your eyes, you are using some sort of primer, eye primer, or you're just using an eye cream. It's going to make your makeup look so much prettier and just glowier. It's important to also keep your lips moisturized and hydrated. I love using the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is what I use every single day and my lips look super nice and just juicy and oh, I love this lip balm. This is a product that I got here in Colombia. This is a rose water tonic. It hydrates, it has vitamin E and I love using this as a spray all over my face. My makeup brush is damp. I'm actually using a Kabuki brush. I also got this here in Colombia and I love how this applies with foundation because the foundation looks super seamless and I love that it doesn't just leave strokes in your face. So this is the foundation that we're gonna be using today. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I would say that this foundation is medium to full coverage. I have it in the color Santa Fe and I actually bought the It Girl Cosmetics BB Cream. That is also gonna give you a beautiful glow if you're looking for just like everyday makeup as well. I would definitely recommend that one. So let's start off with just applying a little bit of the makeup like this. And this Kabuki brush is really, really good for foundation. It just applies so nicely. Also, you don't have to pat it like that. You can also just go like this. This dries very fast, actually. Let's go to this half now. I'm gonna apply a little bit more foundation. And then let's just keep going. I really love this color because it really does look like your own skin. Okay, so I love how this looks so far. Now we're gonna go in with the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. 
So I would say that this shade is a little bit too white for me. Um, this is in the color Light Sand. When you are doing a makeup look, make sure that you pick a concealer that matches your foundation, and then you can add a concealer that is a little bit more brightening. That is going to give your face a more even look. So let's start by applying the concealer here, and that's gonna help us brighten the skin. One trick that I wanna share with you is that when you are applying concealer, make sure that you start right here and then you slowly move the concealer out. And then what we're gonna do is that this is gonna give your makeup look a very seamless look. We're gonna take it down, down the nose, and then we're gonna bring it back up again. So this is going to give your eye a more natural look because if you only do it from here to here, you might look like a panda. So this is gonna give your makeup look a more seamless look. Make sure that when you are applying your concealer, you do it in a triangle form. That looks really seamless. And then the other side, the same thing. I like to also apply a little bit of concealer on my eyelids just to brighten them up as well. I definitely have dark circles underneath my eyes and this tends to be darker. So I like to also apply a little bit of concealer just to brighten this entire area. If you have any other recommendations that are not the Tarte one, because I have been using the Tarte concealer for the longest time and I absolutely love it. It's like my number one concealer, but if you have other concealer recommendations, just let me know because I am on the hunt. I am a very simple gal when it comes to contour. I already have a very long face, so I don't like contouring my jaw. What I like to concentrate on is contouring my cheekbones my forehead and my nose. I actually discovered this brand on Sephora. They are called Merit and they have this new, I believe it's new, it's this contour stick, which I am so obsessed with. First of all, the quality is amazing. I love the color and just how it applies so nicely onto my face. It just gives me that glowy look and it's perfect for today's makeup look. So I'm just gonna grab this brush. This is a contour brush. It's also from the brand Merit. I absolutely love how this applies onto my skin. I'm going to cover the brush with the product. What's important when you are applying contour is that you create basically an imaginary line from here to down here. So when you create this imaginary line, you don't want to go more down than here. I like to start applying this right here, kind of like where my cheekbone is, and I kind of pat it like this. And I slowly start building the product. This is very pigmented, so you really don't need that much of the product, but look at that difference. Look at how beautiful and seamless that looks. Mm, I love this color. Oh, I am obsessed. And I have to say that this contour, this is very beginner friendly because I don't have that much experience with contour, but this is very easy to apply. So if you're looking for a contour stick, this is definitely it. Now we're gonna apply the product onto my forehead just to contour my forehead. I love to push the product against the forehead. Make sure that you're pushing it really well just so that it looks seamless. We're gonna be doing something that's called the Infinity Contour. This is something that I learned recently, and this is going to give your eyes that long look, and it's gonna give your eyes a more open and just a more fresher look. So I just grabbed a little bit of the contour, and then I'm gonna grab this brush, and I'm gonna apply it all over the brush. So I start from the inside, right here on the corner of the eye, and then I bring the product out. This might be a little bit too big of a brush. Let's just see how this looks. But this is giving the eye a really beautiful, natural look. So I go from the inside, from the corner here, and then, and then I bring it out. 
I'm grabbing a little bit of a smaller brush just so that the contour is a little bit more precise in my eyes. Now let's do the other eye. Okay, so I hope that you guys can see the difference when it comes to the eyes. So you can see it just looks more open and more wide right here. And it's gonna give you that full like lift effect on the eyes. And now that we're done with that, let's contour the nose. This is going to be super quick and easy. I'm just grabbing a contour brush. This is from Fit Glow Beauty. This is actually one of my favorite contour brushes. And I'm just gonna start right here at the tip of the nose, just so that it looks a little bit more pointy. I'm gonna go up the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna grab more product. And this is going to make my nose look super snatched and long. This side. Make sure that when you are contouring your nose, you are pushing the product in as well. So I have been loving makeup recently and it definitely has to do a lot with TikTok because you know, you see girls buying all these products at Sephora and you just want to do the same thing as well. And it just got me on this thing of learning how to do my makeup. And unfortunately there's not a Sephora here in Colombia, which is so insane. I know that Sephora here would do so well because girls here really take care of themselves. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. I have to order Sephora online and then have it shipped to a company in Miami and then brought here and it's a whole process. It usually takes about, I would say, two and a half weeks for the products to arrive. So now that my nose is contoured, I'm gonna apply a little bit of more concealer just where there are dark spots and where I want to illuminate my face a little bit more. I'm grabbing the same Tarte Creaseless, con creaseless Concealer in the color Light Sand. I'm going to apply here. I'm going to apply on the middle of my nose here more down here this is going to pat concealer here just so that it gives it that more of a brightening effect by the way have you guys tried the new rare beauty blush the liquid blush I actually ordered it yesterday i cannot wait to try it i know everybody is raving about it i got it in the color entourage entourage and i am so freaking excited the colors just look so beautiful comment down below if you have tried it what do you think about it do you love it I also put concealer in the bridge of my nose just so that it makes my nose look longer and smaller at the same time. So look at that, look at that difference. So nice. So let's go to one of my favorite parts, which is the blush. I, per I recently purchased the Fenty Beauty highlighter. It's called the Kilowatt Highlighter. This is in the color Girl Next Door. I freaking love this. I'm gonna show you guys how beautiful it applies. And I just really love that you can use this as a blush and also as a highlighter. I'm gonna grab my blush brush. This is from Sephora and I really love how this applies. So I love just mixing both of these colors together. So I'm gonna give you a tip. Most people when they are applying their blush, they only apply the blush in the cheekbone area. I mean, look at the color already, how beautiful that looks. But what I love to do is just to make it seamless. I love to apply the blush a little bit here and bring it up here as well, just so that it looks seamless and it doesn't look like there is a white space here. So you guys will see how beautiful that is going to look. I hope that you guys can see these colors. I'm literally sitting in front of a window and I my window is so freaking huge but I feel like my face looks a little bit too white because of the light it's so bright right now so I really hope that you guys are seeing these colors I'm gonna do a little close-up right here We 
are going to apply the highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters ever. This is the iconic London. This is definitely going to give you that summer kissed glow. This highlighter is super potent, so make sure that when you are applying this to your face, you only use a very small amount. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. You can apply this with your hands or you can just use a very small brush. I'm gonna use this brush here and then I'm going to apply this on the high points of my face. So right here and apply this on the other side as well. I am obsessed with this color so beautiful so now I'm gonna add a little bit of the highlighter onto the bridge of my nose I'm gonna add it here as well so I'm going to apply the contour stick in my eyelids again and I'm going to Kind of like give my eyes a little bit of more dimension and you guys will see the result and how beautiful it looks. So I'm going to use this Huda Beauty brush. This is the Eyes Build and Blend. I love this brush. It's super multi-use and I'm just going to take the product out. And now I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown pencil and this is a perfect pencil to create that wing eyeliner and it's going to give you that elongated eye look. I am going to use the Tarte and Bloom palette and I love that this has a lot of neutral and warm tones. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the leader color which is this one right here. These are beautiful colors and I am going to first of all spray my pencil. That's super important so that the color just goes in smoother. So this is a really good way to give your eye a very subtle definition. It looks a little weird now but you guys will see. I don't really like a black eyeliner look for the day. I just feel like it's too harsh of a look and if you want to smudge it out you can use a pencil like this and slowly smudge the color out. I'm definitely not perfect at the wing eyeliner. I am slowly learning, but this makes it so much easier. I definitely recommend getting a brush like this if you are a beginner. Okay, so look at how beautiful it looks so far. It just makes the eyes look more elongated and they just pop more. I'm going to curl my lashes before I apply the mascara. I have been loving the Benefit Mascara. It's called the Benefit Bad Gal. I freaking love that mascara. Look at that. Look at this eye and then look at this one. Look at how insane that is. Like the difference. I just love this. I'm gonna apply a little bit on my bottom lashes. Wow, guys, look at that difference. Look at how beautiful that looks. A little bit on the bottom. So pretty. I am so annoyed right now. So I was filming my eyebrows and then all of a sudden my camera just died and that clip got deleted. But I can't believe that that clip got deleted. I was showing you how I do my eyebrows, but my eyebrows are naturally super thick. I don't really do too much. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer and I have it in the color dark brown. 
So this is the color that I use for my eyebrows and I just start from the beginning to the end and I go in upwards motion and I start filling in the brows. I don't have to do too much because they are so freaking thick. And then another product that I love using is the Brow Definer by Benefit Cosmetics. This is a 24 hour brow setter. This brow setter is so good. So as you see, my eyebrows are like super on point right now. I actually had never used a brow setter before and this has definitely been a game changer because I really wanted to achieve like that upwards brow look that makes your face look more snatched. Let's go to the lips. I'm super simple when it comes to lips for an everyday look. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in combination with the Boxum Cosmetics Hot Toddy. This is the best lip gloss that I have ever tried for just like an everyday glowy look. And obviously the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk because we all know that's the most iconic lip liner ever. Just gonna fill in my lips. Okay, I am done with filling the lips. I am gonna go ahead and fill my lips. You guys will see how beautiful this color is. Look at that lip color how beautiful this is the best spray ever if you haven't tried it it's gonna give you such a beautiful natural finish I'm gonna add a little bit to my skin and it also smells so freaking good. That is going to be it for today's makeup look. I really hope that you enjoyed this clean girl aesthetic and that you learned some makeup tips that are going to really help you perfect that glowy and dewy makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and comment down below if you want to see more glowy and dewy makeup looks like this because I really do enjoy creating these types of looks for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I post videos every single day. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you next week. Bye!